Bellator 152 Pitbull vs Campos 2 is the promotion's third card outside of the United States as the first two were in Canada. This takes place in Torino, Italy as Bellator looks to expand and there is a rematch in the main event as Patrick Pitbull Campos takes on Derek Campos for the second time. In the co-main event, Alessio Sakana makes his Bellator debut against Brian Rogers. You should also know that on this night there will be also the debut of Bellator kickboxing. The main event features middleweights Melvin Manhoff and Italy's Alexandru Negrea. This car will air on Spike TV on Friday, April 22nd, following the broadcast of Bellator 153, Korshlov vs Henderson. For the lightweight bat of the night, Friary, who's 15-7, lost to Derek Anderson in December and then knocked out Ryan Couture a month later as the two-time tournament runner-up is still looking for his first title shot. Campos, who is 16-6, has lost 3 of 4 before stunning Melvin Guillard in February, and he is out to avenge a TKO loss to Friary in the Season 10 semifinals. Both fighters badly need a win to stay in the hunt at 155 pounds, but Friary gets the edge due to his explosiveness. Our pick for this fight is Friary. For the light heavyweight bat of the night, Sakara, whose 17, 11 and 2 no contest, won for the first time in over 5 years in a TKO win over Deb Akil in September, racking up 4 losses and a no contest during that time. He had a long stint in the UFC and Sakara, who is Italian, has a strong boxing background and also became a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Rogers, who's 12-8, got to the semi-finals in Season 6 and the quarter-finals in Season 9, but that was at middleweight. He beat Virgil Swiker in September in his 205-pound debut, but Sakara is much tougher than Swiker. Our pick for this fight is Sakara. For the featherweight bat of the night, Maki, who's 3-0, is an up-and-comer with three first-round stoppages in 2015, 2KO two wins, one submission, while Bellardo, who's 5-0, fights out of Milan and is coming down from lightweight. He has two TKO KO wins and a submission and he will have the crowd on his side, but Maki has a ton of potential that he's just getting into. Our pick for this fight is Maki. For the women's flyweight bout, Jen Koba, who's 2-0, has fought twice since October 2013, but she won both of those in her home country of Russia by submission. This is interesting as Jen Koba is a Muay Thai champion. Pink, who's 0-0, is making her pro debut, but she lost both of her amateur fights. This seems like a setup fight for Jen Koba, and you should keep your eyes and ears open for her in the future. Our pick for this fight is Jen Koba. For the next featherweight bout of the night, both men hailing from Italy, starting with Michelli, who's 2-0, who won via TKO and a unanimous decision in 2015. Scatizzi, who's 6-2, has lost two straight, but he has four TKO wins, along with one submission, which was due to punches. He needs to use that power, and he should win Torino. Our pick for this fight is Scatazzi. 